ハロー、Welcome to Q R Z S クリチャンネル。ナンバーセブンティワン。My name is Junko Shiozawa, and she is my daughter Kuri. Kuri has very serious disease called D R P L A. It causes the brain to atrophy. Inherited no cure progressing disease. This channel's goal is to find a cure for many diseases. And I want to share Challenger's life. It's a great goal. Today's topic is Botox injections. I have a question for you. When you hear the word Botox, what do you think of? Is it cosmetic surgery? Or is it a medical use? Kuri has been hospitalized four times this year for pneumonia. Each time she was hospitalized, her body became stiffer and stiffer. Especially the third time, she was in the hospital for a month. Unable to move her body, Kuri suffered from bed sores and contracture. Botox is a drug made from a toxin produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum. Doctors use it in small doses to treat health problems, including temporary smoothing of facial wrinkles and improving your appearance, severe underarm sweating, cervical dystonia. A neurological disorder that causes severe neck and shoulder muscle contractures, peripheral spasm, uncontrollable blinking, strabismus, visceral eyes, chronic migraine, overactive bladder. Botox injections work by weakening or paralyzing certain muscles or by blocking certain nerves. Since being discharged from the hospital, I have been doing rehabilitation every day to get Kuri's body back to normal. Even so, she was unable to extend her bent knee. Whenever I tried to stretch her legs, she would cry out in pain. At that time, my friend recommended Botox to me. But I didn't think I wanted to use it on her. Kuri is already on a lot of medication and is in a lot of pain. Botox loses its potency after a certain period of time, so it has to be injected periodically. I didn't want to cause any more pain to Kuri. But Kuri's legs were getting suffer and suffer. So, I decided to seek information from other experienced people on my blog. Please consider this as their personal opinion only. Number one, I have hereditary spastic paraplegia. After that, it takes about a month for it to start working, and it lasts about a month. After two and a half months, it starts to wear off and return to normal in three and a half months. So I have to repeat the process. Number two, I have cerebral palsy and have been taking buttocks. Once it takes effort, it becomes a little easier to move than usual. Number three, I am an occupational therapist in Japan. After receiving Botox, active range of motion exercise will be more effective. I think it is important to stretch a little and be careful not to cause too much pain. Number four, if you have been told the name of the muscle that was struck, it would be good to do joint exercises. That allow the muscle to move properly. In my experience, high frequency exercise is more effective. Number five, 
My mother has contractures in her legs. When I talked to the doctor about it, he told me that it would have been easier and more effective for her to rehabilitation if she had more calm earlier and had Botox. I recommend that you get Botox as soon as possible. After receiving these helpful comments, I decided to try it on Kuri. Kuri was injected with Botox in three places, the size of the legs and the right hand. The doctor used an ultrasound to look at the muscle to confirm where the injections were to be given and then applied a, a ski anesthetic spray before giving the injections. There didn't seem to be any pain after the injections. It had been two weeks since we had given Kuri the Botox injection. Perhaps it was because that the dose was so small. There was no noticeable change in Kuri's case. I would like to talk with her doctor to decide what to do in the future. It's easy to get anxious when trying a new therapy. I hope this information will be useful to you. So never give up. Tomorrow will be a good day. Thank you very much for watching.